Stars in the trip to Bountiful premiering on Lifetime March the 8th. Please welcome the lovely Kiki Palmer, everybody. Kiki Palmer. How are you? You look sensational. I mean, oh. just beautiful. You always make me feel so good. Well, here's the thing. I mean, you started coming on the show when you were 12 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Very, and, uh, very it's young. a very weird thing for me because I like now I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's kind of you've you've changed so much. I know. I know. I know. I'm glad we can have these reunions. You know. <clears throat> I want to show you my new tattoo. I oh, heard yes, that please. We both got our tattoos. Well, you got some other tattoos. I got I got mine in New Orleans, too. Did you go to Electric Ladyland? No, was it? Is that the place you got yours? That's the only place to go in New Orleans. <laughs> I got to go check that place out. Yeah, well, let me see I your love tattoo. tattoos. What'd you get? God, God is, is love. love. Controversial. <laughs> That's a controversial one. A lot of people will be like, I don't know, Kiki. <laughs> I don't know. Is that your first one? No, I actually have five. I have this one, too. Look. Oh, look. Uh, do you mind if I read it? I don't yeah, want to get to... Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, we are what we reportedly, repeatedly do. <laughs> Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. That's very good. Is, is... Aristotle. Yeah. Aristotle? Aristotle. I talk to him every now and then. Aristotle? This is very impressive having Aristotle tattooed in your armpit. <laughs> Thank you for Are you a student of Aristotle? I was for some time. Really? Yes, you know. I know, I know next to nothing about Aristotle, I suppose. I, other than what I've read on your arm. <laughs> well, we got we got to... He was very clever. He was very clever. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's... Uh, where are the other ones, then? I have one under here. Don't bother with that. <laughs> oh, uh, and then I have one on my ankle. Uh, oh, yeah, a little, uh, little anchor. Anchor, you know. Uh, and I got a, a heart, two hearts behind my ear. My sister and I got that together. Oh, and that's, yeah. that's that for you, you and your sister. Yeah. Did What's it, up, you, you got them in all your tattoos in places that really hurt. Are you into pain? Hold on a second. Are you into pain? <laughs> You're the therapist, Mona. I'm doing the therapist. The therapist yeah. you know what? I will admit this. Whenever I get a tattoo, I it kind of do. I kind of do like it. But the the the, the feel pain. You know, I kind of do too. Except when I got it here. That was here. Like. Oh yeah, like that. Right. That that no. There is okay. But just when it creeps Ooh, into your... Uh, it creeped up too high. You let it creep well, I was too like, high. Uh, you let it creep up too high. Yeah. You do And when you start, when you're like a middle-aged white guy and you start crying in the tattoo parlor, it's the funniest they thing. They got you to the tears. Oh, yeah. I was like... <laughs> no. Do you have picture tattoos? I don't really have many picture tattoos. I usually quote it up. And I had to get myself to stop because I always go to this website to get these quotes. And if I would have kept going, I really would be a quote book on my whole body. I put too many quotes on me. Well, that's all right. That's going to make you... Uh, you're pretty interesting anyway. I mean, uh, but... <laughs> But like, you know, you, you, people could read you. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you could start a story, and then if you like someone, you could say, do you want to see chapter two? <laughs> You're good. Yeah? You're good. All right. You're clever. What's the, uh, what's the thing on uh, the Lifetime? What's that about? So I did a trip to Bountiful. That'll be coming out March 8th. Right. Cicely Tyson, which was so awesome to get to work with her. Yeah, she's um, good. Period piece. First big period piece I've ever done. The last right. thing I what did. What period like, is it? 1950s. Oh, right. 1953. Okay. Did, oh, so you would have phones like this? <laughs> yes. Well, how do you even use this? I have how no idea. Get, how do you get this stuff? Oh! <laughs> Here, Kiki, you've been in the 1950s. You, you, you do it. Here. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, hello. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. What's what, how'd you know to find me? Oh, I know where you are. I've always known. <laughs> Say, let's uh, let's cut right to chapter four, shall we? <laughs> good. Hey, you know, you know good. You know good. That wasn't me. If you noticed when you were, I wasn't going talking like that. I wasn't. I'm not that good. That was. That I'm was, not that good. I, I, I can, can I'm gonna you? start talking like you. I, what, what, can you? Can you? <laughs> Can you say, oh, cheeky monkey, Shrek, donkey, farty, oh, donkey, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you went too fast. Well, that's a problem I've had no! before. <laughs> so when you went to New Orleans, 
Did you have any poor boys? Yeah, I had poor boys in New Orleans. I had oysters. Do you have oysters? I, I didn't have oysters oh. yet, but I really do love oysters. You oh, love oysters? No, Why? no. It's like salty snot going down <laughs> your... I didn't like it at all. I mean, and they were really good, and the people were really nice, and they were like, you know, that way they talk. Oh, yeah, and then, that, uh, they, they always say baby. Yeah, well, not to me, but they, uh... <laughs> But they, they gave me the thing, and I was like, oh. oh. You went into it. No, and Steve Carell was with me, and he Steve said. Steve Carell? Yeah, yeah, and I said, I, if you eat, he said, if you eat one, I'll eat one, because he'd never had them. Then I ate one, and he said, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my dad is. My dad never wants to try stuff. I'm like, come on, Dad. He's like, nah, Keith. Really? Why not? I don't know. My dad never wants to try new things. Well, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take him to New Orleans? Has he got any tattoos? I didn't take my dad did drop me off in New Orleans, actually. He didn't stay. He just like got me set up while I was there because it was like a girl's does, trip. Does he have a helicopter? No, he just made sure like we had to rent a car. You know, he did the whole dad thing. Oh, right. that's good. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I could leave my daughter in New Orleans for the weekend, though. That'd be kind of tricky. Uh, my I don't really I don't have a daughter, but if I did, I uh, <laughs> Like, I wouldn't leave my boys there. Actually, well, one of them's only three. It would be kind of illegal. <laughs> it would be crazy. Yeah. Be crazy. yeah. Well, we're out of time. <laughs> you always do this to me. Well, it's, you know, it's the nature of time. It has a beginning and a middle. That's and all end. we've been through. We haven't been through that much. What happened to the, to, the, to the 12 years old, to the whole big thing? This is all a joke to you? <laughs> Look. Look, Kiki, I've watched you grow into a fine young woman, but I have to tell you, it's time for you to go off now and do your own thing. You can't be hanging around here with me and Jeff and Secretariat looking after you the whole time. Why, you gotta go out there and ex experience your life. Get a few tattoos. I gotta get some chapter sixes, huh? Uh, I, I don't think I should be reading those. I... No, uh, you know, just get a few more episodes. <laughs> Awkward pause or meditation? Hmm. Give me it again. Awkward pause <laughs> or meditation? Awkward pause. <laughs> You're looking like I'm scaring you. <laughs> Am I scaring you? Scarier than you. Yes. 